The fact that I got home from the bar just a few hours ago should be illegal. That is insane. Like, I truly thought I wasn't getting a diamond ring. I had a feeling you'd come back and save me. Okay, it feels so weird for me to start a vlog getting ready in the Clancy room when it's not two o'clock in the morning, but here we are at 1.39 on a Saturday. Do I look more awake? I feel a lot more awake than I normally do when I start these vlogs. It just feels so freaking good to sleep in on the weekends. And by sleep in, I slept in until 7.30 this morning, so it's not like I was sleeping in that late, but today my skin feels so freaking smooth. Oh my gosh. And that's because I got a facial last night, which guys, I did a thing. I did a thing that I'm regretting. I'm just going to be honest about it. Like I'd love to come on here and be like, woo, I have no regrets. Like, no, the regrets are flooding in. I got a yearly facial membership a year. Massage Envy has a deal where if you do 12 months of their membership, it costs so much less. You get one facial a month, $70 each. If you don't do the membership, each facial I think is like 120. So I just, I've really been loving these facials. Like they really feel like they clean out my skin and hydrate it. That's what I need for my skin hydration. I'm not oily at all. It's all just dryness. More than anything, like it just, it feels so good. And I'm such at odds with this because I'm like, well, I don't need a facial. That sounds so bougie. And I'm normally not careless with my money. And this was kind of crazy of me, but I don't know. I just, I, I, I just, I did it and I feel good about it, but no, that's a lie. I just, <laughs> I just lied to the camera so much. I don't feel good about it. I'm feeling remorse and regret, but whatever it happened. This weekend is going to be a crazy one here in Cincinnati because the Bengals are in the freaking Super Bowl. I know when you guys are watching this, you know the results, you know the outcome, but me right now at this moment, I don't know. Are they going to win or are they not? Who the heck knows? But before we get to the craziness, which is tomorrow, Zach and I are actually having a wonderful afternoon where we just worked out and we are going to go up to Dayton to finally finally get my ring sized because if you guys remember he oh that's my foundation that's my foundation uh he got kind of just like a random standard size i think he got a six with like a sizer thing on it so it just hasn't really fit finally we're gonna get my finger sized and then they're gonna swap out they're gonna have to order um the new ring which is gonna look exactly like this just a different size and then they're gonna swap it out for my correct size i have no idea what size i am i really don't and i'm just super excited to finally have it sized because honestly i have not been wearing my ring at all like i just don't want it to get lost i don't want it to slip off or damage it in any way because it's technically not mine yet and today i'm just doing a natural makeup routine i call this my awake routine where it just has to make me look more awake like that's the goal nothing crazy really just I mean, I, okay, I say like nothing crazy. I'm using about like 15 products. Let's see, primer, foundation, concealer, mascara, um, the setting powder, eyebrows, and then a little bit of bronzer and blush and probably a little bit of highlight. Oh my gosh. We've been watching the Winter Olympics and this is how you curl or do curling. I don't, I don't even know if that's the right terminology, but I learned the hard way. It's um, not easy. You're gonna get the slider foot second and off you go. <gasps> I'd love to tell you guys that was embarrassing for me, but my motto in life is, if it made someone laugh, it's all that matters. One very devastating situation I'm dealing with right now, I'm all out of my birth control. I took the last of it. You can see I always leave these two. These are just like the blank pills. There's nothing in them. Sugar pills, that's what they call it. I don't even bother taking them just because there's no point. But I am in a sticky situation where I am now on my own birth control. Got kicked off my parents when I turned 26. It was actually like in the new year that you turn 26 that you get kicked off. Which by the way, can I just tell you something? When I was like 24 or 25, I said something about being on my parents' health insurance still. And I remember someone like scoffed at me. Like you're still on your parents' health insurance? Like, oh my gosh, I don't wanna hear it. I've been paying for every single thing on my own, my car, my car insurance, just everything. Obviously my rent from the get go, three days after I moved out of college. And obviously I was still paying for like my car and car insurance and all of that when I was in college. But yeah, this was just one little thing I was hanging on to and I enjoyed it very much. And I'm devastated that I got kicked off <laughs> and my health insurance does not cover my birth control now, like my new one that I'm paying for by myself. So yeah, I've just been dealing with calling CVS and then calling my gynecologist's office and nothing got done in time. I'm on day two 
of no birth control and I'm a little bit nervous about what that's going to mean for like my hormones. I just know it's not good to be up and down and I'm just not like regular with it. I've, I never miss my birth control pill. I always take it. So a little bit nervous right now, but it's the weekend and there's nothing I can do for now and I'm kind of just yellowing it. And I would just like everyone to take note. My boots are on, socks are on, ready to go. It's always this one who's making us late for everything. What are we late to? Why? There's no uh, race here, so we're not late. <laughs> yeah, that, that's Zach's motto in life. It's not a race. We get there when we get there. So we're not late, so you lied to every person that you is watching your vlog. You lie about this. What else do you lie about? We're on to you. YouTube and I. Yeah, it's you guys against us. Against you. There's no us on your side. <laughs> Can we just agree our apartment's an absolute wreck right now? Like, this was me trying to do one little thing of tidying because our blankets always just sprawled all over the place. It's just not good, guys, and I just don't even have time to do anything. Like, just don't have time. Yeah, no time, so. We better get moving then. All right, let's leave this dump. <laughs> now that we're in the car, it's the perfect time to talk about men and their memory. And Zach, you will be an expert on this one, right? Uh, I don't have the best memory, sure. Do you know where I'm going with this? Talking about your ring size? Yeah. I always joke around with Zach because we got me sized in April. Neither of us, I don't even remember what my size was at all. But um, but no, I wanted to talk a little bit about the ring. I've gotten a lot of questions about it. I love it. It's It could not be any more perfect. It is an oval. And originally I thought for sure I wanted a cushion cut or a princess cut. One that was like, no, actually I really wanted cushion. Like the square with the rounded corners. But when we actually went in person, and this is why I so recommend going in person, I put the oval on my finger and I was like done. Oval tends to make your fingers look a little bit, I think longer maybe, I don't know. I hate my hands, so it's really making me feel self-conscious how much I've been having to show my hands lately. I feel like most people don't like their hands, they're just disgusting. But no, I really, really like this. And then one thing, a little tip that I have for people with diamond shopping, trying to save money, like where should you save money, where not? I really, really wanted the ring to be as, what was it like? like as white as possible? I guess, yeah, like the color of it. So yeah. it could be like yellowy at times or imperfections in it. That one, it was a perfect color with, and then it's like there's a scale, I don't know exactly what it is, to the human eye of clarity and ours is the one above the one that's to the human eye so it's like you just can't tell the difference unless you have one of the scope things to tell the difference there and i do think that's a big tip that like you don't need one that's like as clear as possible you can go down a little bit because all all i care about is to the human eye like if there's imperfections that you can't see unless you break out a microscope cool and then as for the size it was a 1.4 huge tip there it's really good to go just under some of their main sizing. So just under a carrot, just under 1.5, just under two, you just save more money that way. And speaking of money, I'm obviously not gonna tell you guys how much we spent because okay, it's always my like little thing. I always tell everyone, whatever the guy spends on the engagement ring, technically you're spending too. It's I know, but it's whatever we spent is funny. He didn't spend anything. <laughs> <laughs> but like, come on, it's gonna be my money in the future when we put our pots together, we are gonna be sharing bank accounts we've decided we're we're just we're not we're not holding anything back Clancy uh, spends my money anyway so no, we, might no, well, I don't. we might as well bunk up our bank accounts but as for spending I'm very very comfortable with what Zach chose it was more than what we had talked about I mean the last time we had talked about it was probably like I don't know a year before the actual proposal but it was more but I'm super comfortable with it it was just, I don't know, I feel like it was the perfect amount. And actually, Zach, you kind of said it was like fate because that week, all of that money went into your bank account. No, the timing was funny because just when I started my new job with a sign-on bonus that I had been promised and agreed to just when I signed my contract and actually another bonus that they didn't even promise me but they paid me because myself and then the other recruiter had been doing such a good job, they gave us both additional bonuses they didn't promise either of us, which was nice of them. So my paycheck, which is a two week paycheck, and both bonuses all hit my bank account the exact day I was deciding to go buy the ring. Like I, dis I decided that was the day. I had planned to go to Dayton already all and all that. So it was just funny how it all worked out. And it so ended up being- I actually got to spend my money the day I got it. <laughs> I but didn't it have it 24 hours. But it ended up <laughs> being like the exact amount he spent on my ring, which might I add, 
Okay, I don't know if you guys have ever heard the rule of thumb. The engagement ring should cost three months of the man's salary. That is insane. That would be the craziest thing ever if Zach spent three months of his salary on my ring. I was just thinking about it. That would be a quarter of his yearly income on a ring. I mean, we didn't even come close to that. Not even scratching the surface. Not even, I don't even think, I don't even know. I don't want to get into the numbers, but where that came from was diamond companies made that up. So go figure. Of course, they obviously want you to spend more, but can you imagine if I was the type of person who was like demanding like three months salary? Yeah, no, I didn't follow that rule remotely. Um, no, not even close. So I'm excited to finally see where Zach went when he snuck off, when I had no idea he was going ring shopping and finally get this bad boy sized. Of course, while we were there, I had to look at all of the diamond rings just to make sure there wasn't one I liked better. But no, seriously, this confirmed Zach could not have done a better job. Like I am so obsessed with my ring and I feel like I couldn't have even picked out a better one, truly. But one thing I did want to talk about though, I totally forgot about this. I originally did not want a diamond ring. And I told Zach, like I truly thought I wasn't getting a diamond ring because I don't know, like just the idea of spending that much on one piece of jewelry was just stressing me out. It just felt so unnecessary. Like when you think of all you can buy with that piece of jewelry and it's just, I'm not, I'm not even like, I'm just not a spendy person to begin with. I don't wear real jewelry. My rings that I wear are from Target. This necklace, my granny gave it to me. Like I'm, I'm just not, I just never was raised that way. I really think that's what it comes down to. Like if you were raised in like an environment where you get a lot of jewelry or you don't, and I just never really did. And I never bought it for myself. So I fell in love with the idea of a moissanite ring. For those of you who don't know what this is, it's not a real diamond. It looks exactly like one though. And it's a heck of a lot less money. Like I just did a quick Google search and it said moissanite rings can cost as much as 90% less than real diamonds. So you still pick out like one carat, two carat and how big you want it, but it's just, it's just not a diamond. And to be honest, to the human eye for the average person, you can't notice a difference because one of my friends I later found out has a moissanite ring and I had no idea, but randomly we got to talking and I, I think actually randomly I just said to her like, oh, I really want a moissanite. And she told me like, oh, by the way, mine is a moissanite. And it was so funny because I always loved her ring. Like I just noticed it, it sparkled a lot. And that's actually one thing, moissanites tend to sparkle more than diamonds. I think though there's something with the way they sparkle is different. It might be like, it creates like rainbow light instead of white. I don't know, I'm really, I'm not an expert, but I made the decision, I don't need a diamond told Zach that and he did not feel good about it. I knew he wasn't gonna do it. He said like, he just thought it was like a reflection on him and like as a man, he wanted to buy a real diamond. I, I don't know. I do have to say though, like I'm just so happy. Like I really could not be happier with how much we spent, what we got. Like I'm just so content because I love the ring. Absolutely love it. And it is nice that I do have a real diamond. Like I, I don't treat myself off into things like this. It's just, it's a really nice treat that like, okay, this could be the one piece of jewelry that is just really, really, really nice. And by the way, I did get my finger sized yesterday. It came out, okay, they measured me as a four and a half, which fit, I put it on, but it felt so uncomfortable taking it off. And they told me like, it, that's how it should be. But here's the thing, like my fingers swell when I work out or in the summer and I just hate the idea of, I don't know, I just it just made me feel claustrophobic. So I got a four and three quarters. And listen, if it ends up being a little bit too big, I can always get my wedding band to be a four and a half and then it'll kind of just slide right on, protect the other one. I have it all mapped out. Zach and I just finished a nice little workout. It was kind of busy in the gym, if you could see. I mean, I love how it's like not even that busy, but for us, we're used to like the solitary lifestyle. But tell them why we're not friends today. The little stunt you pulled this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happened, I don't know what you're talking about. Guys, he set an alarm, which can I just tell you, like I never sleep in. The one day, like I'm sleep, sleep, sleep in. I wake up to an alarm. Tell them why you set the alarm, Zach. So, Clancy never sleeps in, so this isn't even a real thing. She's- The one like day I did. But she stayed in bed too for another half hour. So she's exaggerating the situation a tad, but I'd set an alarm because I wanted to see what something about a Joe Burrow football card sold for in eBay because I've been looking at them. He's obsessed with cards lately. <laughs> and you know, it's, it's annoying as is, but then it messes with my lifestyle. But the best part is, I wake up because of his alarm. He goes back to bed for two hours and just smiling away. Yeah, it was one thing and you're probably up already. I wasn't, I was so, Zach, I thought it was my alarm. And I was like, oh my God, my alarm's going off for work. I started like swatting it. Oh, I'm 
Sorry if that happened. Oh, that's, You're up at 8.30 though. That was though. really nice of you to say. I wasn't expecting that. You're up anyways at that time. I wasn't so. though. I was so peacefully <laughs> sleeping. I was so happy. Well, once in a blue moon, how was I supposed to know today was the day? I normally don't eat takeout alone because Zach right now is showering. He had like a protein shake and is just having wings later. But I broke my golden rule and I'm having Corito for lunch alone takeout because I was feeling it and I'm treating myself. So I've just been running around because I spent way too much time watching YouTube videos and now I am running late. It's like four, what time is it? 4.06, game is at 6.30. I'm so behind. Guys, people started lining up at the bars downtown at 8 a.m. The bars open at 11, the game's at 6.30. So, and actually I don't even know what time they started lining up. It could have been before that. I just know that at 8 a.m. the line was around the corner. So, and by the way, it was like 20 degrees this morning. So yeah, people are going crazy here in Cincinnati for the game and I'm actually driving. I don't know if I'm gonna regret this. I just don't wanna get stuck downtown because I have to work tomorrow. Like this is gonna be a really rough night and I'm not gonna lie, my anxiety has been through the roof where like my biggest advice if you deal with anxiety, you just gotta push through it and do it. Like everything in my being is telling me just stay home, <laughs> stay home and don't go because normally at this time, like I'd be winding down, getting ready. I wake up at 2 a.m. and I'm probably gonna have to wake up earlier tomorrow. Like, I don't know, it might be craziness for the morning show, but you just gotta like push through it. Like, no, I'm going downtown. I told my friends I was. Zach is right now at his friend's house, which is like, I don't know, 15 minutes away from us, but I'd already told my friends I would go downtown. And on top of it all, I told Local 12 I would be doing Facebook Lives throughout the night which is stressing me out a little bit right now because I don't think I can do a Facebook Live at the very end. Like, I don't know what the driving situation is gonna look like, if I'm gonna be able to park or find a spot or just get stuck down there. And in a normal night, getting stuck down there, no big deal, like most people are off tomorrow. Not me, like obviously I need to wake up at two and like every minute matters. And can you guys tell I'm feeling a little anxious? So I'm just hoping once I get there, everything will just work out, but right now, the anxiety is through the roof. Obviously I'm not drinking and me driving is like ensuring that I won't drink because if I'm driving, if the keys are in my hand, I will not even have a sip of alcohol. It's just how I am. Like, I don't know, driver's head got to me because we had to watch some really, really awful videos of what can happen. If you drunk drive, also just being a news reporter, I can't tell you how many crashes I've covered and what a drunk driver was involved. Anyway, all that to say, since I am driving, that'll ensure that I don't drink, which is good, because I have to wake up so early tomorrow. So should I just like stay out all night? Like, geez. But I'm not gonna be wearing this. Jenna has a shirt for me once I get there. So I could be rocking the bangles. This is like my, this is not orange, okay, I really, I thought it was like kind of orange, but no. Anyway, all right, I, I just, we're glad we had that chat, that girl chat, that real chat about anxiety. I'm feeling awful right now, but hopefully, I've, I've learned this in life, you just gotta push through it, and then it ends up okay. Okay, it is quite literally 30 degrees on the dot, and there are just people who are having so much fun in this. So I'm about to go to a nice restaurant, nice little bar area, but yeah, this is crazy. Keep thinking that I could have done something but now I'm left with an empty heart No making amends No waking up beside you And holding you till we forget The fact that I got home from the bar just a few hours ago should be illegal. I went to bed at 11.30 last night last night, hours ago, and my alarm did go off this morning at 2 a.m. You guys know, oftentimes they don't utilize my alarm. I just naturally wake up. Oh my gosh, do you hear my voice? I need to like, I just like was yelling so much last night because it was so loud. So like, I just have such bad vocal fry right now. And oh my gosh, that loss was so awful. So for those of you who don't know, like the Bengals won it. Like they were up by four. The other team couldn't come back with a field goal. I mean, they didn't really win it, obviously in football, you know, anything can happen, but truly like we all thought they were going to win. We were sure of it and it just didn't end up happening. Happening. Ugh, I can't. Guys, I'm not awake. I swear, I like swear I didn't have a sip of alcohol last night. I have to say, peer pressure was high. I mean, everyone was buying shots, free shots, free drinks. So many people were like, why weren't you drinking? But you just gotta stay strong, guys. You just gotta stay strong and just be like, listen, I don't need alcohol to party. I don't, even though, honestly, like going out sober when a bunch of people are drunk, I gotta say, don't necessarily recommend. I don't know, it's just not really 
always my favorite thing necessarily, but guys, you wanna know something? I'm not doing my hair today. Look at it, the curl stayed, and not to mention I'm gonna be wearing my, my hat, my orange hat, so <laughs> should I go out every Sunday? I'm, I'm, this is fine, this is perfect. With my hat, I'm gonna brush it out a little bit, and then it's just gonna be loose. This bad boy, he's not turning on this morning, so that saves me a good 20 minutes. That's nice, maybe I can do a 20 minute power nap, even though not really. Uh... Precisely six hours ago, I was here, downtown Cincinnati, at the banks, having fun, partying, watching the game, and now I'm reporting on the news. Like, do you see why I might die and throw up and like just not exist today? I'm not trying to be dramatic, but I don't think I've ever felt so tired at work. Oh, one other time, one other time, it's when I went to a concert on a Thursday night in Cincinnati. I lived in Dayton. Zach and I were just starting to see each other and I really wanted to see him. So I went out to a concert on a Thursday when I had to wake up at 2 a.m. Like my friend Gabby and I didn't get back until I think like after midnight. So I didn't get any sleep that night either. So that's the only, the only other time I felt like this at work. But yeah, I mean, this is just like the name of the game, the job where it doesn't matter how tired you feel, how sick you feel, how not good you feel. You put the smile on, you act like you're fine. Now here in Cincinnati, Bengals fans pack the banks all day and all night long. And local tools, Clancy Burke joins us now uh, from the banks to show us how fans are reacting here at home. Good morning, Clancy. Good morning, John. It was a tough loss, but still, there's a lot to be grateful for. I mean, first of all, the Bengals had an amazing season. Second of all, I actually have a voice. I didn't think I would because I came to the banks last night to watch the game. And let me tell you, you weren't talking to people. You were yelling to them because it was so loud craziness. And this right here, I feel like this is just the perfect example of what last night was like. The trash is full of all kinds of alcohol. We've got what? A lot of Bud Light cans. I'm seeing a Truly bottles. I mean, I mean, people were crazy, but this morning you could see the banks empty, quiet, and I can tell you it emptied out a lot quicker than had they won. But I want to get to video of what it was like before the loss because people were so excited to be here, so excited. A lot of them were just standing outside the whole time. I mean, a lot of people couldn't even get into any of these bars or restaurants just because they were packed. I know at Holy Grail, people started lining up early in the morning just to get in for the game that started at 6.30 and they stayed all the way through. The only thing that can cure my soul today is a nice hot cup of coffee and of course, you guys guessed it, chocolate oatmeal. And even then, this might not even be enough. Especially when your fiance doesn't even know today's Valentine's Day. I do know today's Valentine's Day. It's I go up to him, I go, hey Zach, happy Valentine's Day. And you go, oh, is that what today is? <laughs> I thought it was tomorrow. And you know what the worst part is? When we first started dating, Zach was so sweet. Do I have chocolate? <laughs> Tell them I get chocolate all over my face with my chocolate oatmeal. She like wears it like lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> Brown lipstick. Ew, wait. Let me get to my. You do have it on your face. I probably do, but we're just all we're friends here. We're close. But our first Valentine's Day was like a Thursday, and we were doing like the short long distance. Obviously, we weren't really long distance, but um, Zach was in Cincinnati, I was in Dayton, and I go to bed early. That was before I did split sleeping, so I went to bed at six. And Zach drove all the way up to Dayton just to deliver me cakes he baked for me and said in a text, this is our first Valentine's Day together, like we have to spend it together, even though he was coming back up tomorrow, like Friday. And he drove all the way up and we spent like 30 minutes together and it was so nice. So I go from that to this year, Zach going like all oh, like Valentine's Day. What have you ever done for me on Valentine's Day? So I'm just following your trend. I didn't get that. Oh, Can you try again? yeah. Siri didn't. Even knows. No, like, Siri. She's done nothing. Okay, but the girl is supposed to get pampered. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to go. Pampered and loved. And then, like, I said to Zach, like, a few days ago, like, oh, I guess Valentine's Day is kind of like fallen by the wayside because of the Super Bowl. And he goes, when you say you're like Valentine's Day, like, I'll never celebrate that. Like, that's not anything. <laughs> And I'm like, wow, we've come a, a very different way from the first year when I was promised a very <laughs> loving. I treat you so well, like it's Valentine's Day every day. So how could I even do better? Happy Valentine's Day. It is now what? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, four days later. And Zach and I are finally getting around to celebrate Valentine's Day because anyone who celebrated the day after the Super Bowl is a psychopath. Like, I'm sorry, but that was just not where my mind was at, especially being a Bengals fan and living in Cincinnati. So we decided, you know what? Valentine's Day is whatever day you make it. So today we are celebrating. We've got actually, okay guys, this is so crazy. We have a tradition that we didn't even like really mean to make, but every Valentine's Day for the past three years, 
we make the same exact meal. It is butternut squash, Brussels sprouts, and salmon. This year, it's in the works. We're cooking it up right now. Oh yes, Brussels sprouts are looking good. This is the real star of the show in my book. We've got the butternut squash, which I should actually keep going. And then in here, yes, our salmon. Hers and his. And Zach's just sitting on the couch, drinking a beer, taking a break from cooking, because he's been doing most of the work. I was actually at Neil's place. He got me some flowers, which was so nice, because a little thing about getting engaged, guys, once you say yes, they just, they stop trying, because they have you. So don't say yes. Honestly, like, we seriously just could not celebrate Valentine's Day this year. Like, the day after the Super Bowl, what do you expect from us? Seriously. No, I mean, and it's nicer anyways, because you can stay up tonight, and we can hang out, and it'll be a good evening. What are our big plans? Uh, eat. <laughs> All right, salmon is still cooking, but I wanted to show we are popping out the wine. This is what my mom got Zach for Christmas. Our child may be the reason you drink, so enjoy this bottle on you. Don't mind the bad head. It's the next morning when I'm editing this, but what did I just say? It said enjoy this bottle on us. Obviously, that makes sense. Don't know why I said on you. And I'm not a wine person, as you guys know, but I told Zach to pour me basically the amount of the blood of Christ. It's like, I think it must be like mixed with like white. It's like bubbling. Really? Because I, if I were to like any type of wine, no, oh, that's good. It would be white. It's like basically champagne. Oh, what is that? It's bubbly. <laughs> it's like champagne. Hmm, interesting. I need to uh, take the notes in. Is that what they say in the wine world? Dinner is served. We have so many vegetables. Oh my gosh. It's just, it's, it's just fine. <laughs> in my snack of the evening, this is Simple Mills Veggie Pita Crackers. Himalayan salt. These are so freaking good. Oh my gosh. I was so happy I found these at the grocery store. But yeah, this is like the most needed weekend ever. I feel like I say that at the end of every week. I'm like, this is the most needed weekend. Clearly, I've been having a lot of rough weeks lately. Not really, it's just, it really was the Sunday threw everything off, and this has just been like a long freaking week. How about you? How's your week been? This is the most needed weekend ever. Ever? That's what I've heard. And so we're just gonna stay in, watch the Tinder Swindler. That is so hard to say, really catchy name. Anyway, we have a Valentine's Day date to get to. Bye. All the way from Long Island, now happy in Ohio. She has the most amazing chocolate oatmeal recipe I know. Hey, that's Clancy Burke. Yeah, you heard it here, you heard it here first. Up and out of at two in the morning for the Cincinnati News reporting. Behind the scenes from work, here's Clancy Burke.